Ballad number thirty five of the Bab Ballads by W. S. Gilbert. Read for LibriVox.org by Graham Redman. Thompson Green and Harriet Hale. To be sung to the air of An Horrible Tale. O oh, list to this incredible tale of Thompson Green and Harriet Hale. It's truth in one remark you'll sum. Twaddle, 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 twum. O oh, Thompson Green was an auctioneer and made three hundred pounds a year, and Harriet Hale, most strange to say, gave piano forty lessons at a sovereign a day. O oh, Thompson Green, I may remark, met Harriet Hale in Regent's Park, where he, in a casual kind of way, spoke of the extraordinary beauty of the day. They met again, and strange, though true, he courted her for a month or two. Then to her pa he said, says he, Old man, I love your daughter, and your daughter worships me. Their names were regularly banned, the wedding day was settled, and, I've ascertained by dint of search, they were married on the choir to St. Mary Abbot's Church. O oh, list to this incredible tale of Thompson Green and Harriet Hale, it's truth in one remark you'll sum. Twaddle, 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 twum. That very selfsame afternoon they started on their honeymoon, and, oh, astonishment, took flight to a pretty little cottage close to Shanklin, Isle of Wight. But now, you'll doubt my word, I know, in a month they both returned, and, lo, astounding fact, this happy pair took a gentlemanly residence in Canonbury Square. They led a weird and reckless life. They dined each day, this man and wife, pray disbelieve it if you please, on a joint of meat, a pudding, and a little bit of cheese. In time came those maternal joys which take the form of girls or boys, and, strange to say, of each that one, a tiddy-iddy daughter and a tiddy-iddy son. O oh, list to this incredible tale of Thompson Green and Harriet Hale! It's truth in one remark you'll sum. Twaddle, 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 twum. My name for truth is gone, I fear, but monstrous as it may appear, they let their drawing-room one day to an eligible person in the cotton-broking way. Whenever Thompson Green fell sick, his wife called in a doctor quick, from whom some words like these would come, Fiat mist cementum hostis in a cochlearium. For thirty years this curious pair hung out in Canonbury Square, and somehow wonderful to say, they loved each other dearly in a quiet sort of way. Well, Thompson Green fell ill and died, for just a year his widow cried, and then her heart she gave away to the eligible lodger in the cotton-broking way. O oh, list to this incredible tale of Thompson Green and Harriet Hale! It's truth in one remark you'll sum. Twaddle, 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 twum. End of ballad number 35 Thompson Green and Harriet Hale from the Bab Ballads. This recording is in the public domain.